What's going on, True Believers? Do you remember about two months ago, Facebook told you that it changed its name to Meta, and then everything was going to be incredible from there because what's going to happen? They're going to enter the Metaverse. Everything's going to be happy. Then Sand took off. Then Decentraland took off. Engine started to pick up steam. All of these tokens started to have their big moves to the upside, and then guess what happened? Everything crashed down because the support for it was just not there, especially during a volatile market. What's going on with the metaverse right now? This is not financial advice, or more specifically, what's going on with meta. I am always right. All right, guys, market's trading at $2.374 trillion on a volume of $131 billion. Uh, Facebook is now pushing its way up above 48000 Ethereum has pushed over $4,000. Uh, everything's starting to look a little bit better than it was before. Aval Avalanche and Terra uh, continue to impress, and they continue to move to the upside as quickly as possible uh, every single time. Elron is making a big move right now again making a big move right now. Uh, VeChain, uh, VeChain has moved back up again. And uh, if you're looking around, Sandbox did a little bit this weekend. Uh, I'm sorry, in the last 24 hours. And Mana did a little bit in the last 24 hours. So there's still life in that puppy, but things are a little bit weird right now. So let's start off our coverage with this. Uh, the metaverse was such a big thing uh, two months ago. Everybody had to have metaverse tokens, uh, whether it be um, uh, Sandbox, Decentraland, Realm, Engine, Starl, um, it didn't matter what it was, everybody was going hard into the metaverse. And everybody who was anybody was telling you, guys, this is the future, you better get in really quick. Well, guess what? The man in charge of Facebook's cryptocurrency program has just announced he will quit the firm at the end of 2021. David Marcus was in charge of the crypto unit at Meta, the new name of the Facebook parent company. But he has now stepped down amid uncertainty around the future of Meta's cryptocurrency Diem, which has not been helped by a variety of confusing name changes at the company formerly known as Facebook. The social media giant recently rebranded itself as Meta, announced it would focus on developing the metaverse, a matrix like virtual reality Mark Zuckerberg described as an embodied internet where you're in the experience, not just looking at it. The DM stablecoin will play a role in the metaverse if it ever sees the light of day. Mockingly dubbed Zuckcoin by critics, but originally called Libra, Diem has drawn criticism from regulators and prominent crypto leaders, including Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin, who said there was a huge amount of mistrust around Facebook. Okay, guys, let's take one quick second and let's talk about Facebook. Guys, if you trust Facebook, you are a fool. Facebook does not care about you. They care about your ad revenue. They're not here for you. They're not here to provide you with a platform of enjoyment. They are here to provide you with a platform of engagement and the best engagement, and they've even admitted it recently in court filings. Their best engagement was to create conflict over elections and politics because that was drawing users into the fray, getting people to get more ad revenue in front of their face. They were literally formulating algorithms that would create a conflict in your life where none needed to exist. You couldn't go to Facebook like you could before and just see your feed and get a timeline of time. What you were now getting uh, was a, an algorithm that was pushing up all the things that you disagreed with it because you couldn't resist yourself and you had to make a comment about it, which led to where we are right now. We're in a polarizing environment. I don't blame Facebook for the entirety of it. I do blame a lot of things for that, but let's not forget Facebook doesn't care about you. They have no sympathy. They have no regrets about anything that they do. They are just here for your money. And they, in the Web 2.0 environment, are just using you as ad revenue. Moving on. Now, guys, on a quick look at the metaverse, here's what we find. We find Axie Infinity is still the leader and it's still trading at a pretty good price. It's 102.14. That's up 7% on the day. But as you can see over here, it's down 9%. Sandbox uh, is about dead even for a week. Uh, Central Land is down 11%. Engine is down 12.8. Forget the price action that you just saw. And remember, for the week, this is way down. UFO Gaming down 13. It's up 14%. That's the one. Uh, or two of the three maybe bright spots, we'll get to those. Uh, Illuvium's down 13%, Render's up 8%, Defy's up 20%, Mobox 
down almost 20%. Yield games, almost 10. Uh, as you go down this list, you're going to see a few bright spots. You're going to see Neos Credits. You're going to see Victoria VR. You're going to see a few of them. But look how bad this market has been performing. you got another one, Ethverse, up 28%. But guys, there's a lot of blood in the water in the metaverse. And what is going on right now? Well, the sentiment was driven primarily by what was going on with Facebook. And Facebook has been a disaster since rebranding itself to Meta. Uh, most people understand that that's what they want. They want your money. They don't care about you as the investor. They don't care about anything uh, that you are actually doing. They want you to be conflicted. They want you to be plugged in. They might as well have named themselves the Matrix at this point. This is what is happening right now. And guess what? It has successfully turned off many investors to the entire metaverse process. So what do we do? Okay, guys, if you don't know, there's a category on CoinGecko that tells you a lot of information that you can know about what's going on by category. And this is based on market capitalization. If you look, the number one capitalization is the smart contract platform. And that is all of the blockchain. Then the number two ranked based on market capitalization is the Binance smart chain ecosystem, followed by the Polygon ecosystem, followed by the Avalanche. Then you have your stable coins, which are always going to be stable, um, <laughs> generally speaking. Uh, then you have your exchange-based tokens. Then you have decentralized finance, and you have the centralized exchange tokens. But you don't get to uh, the metaverse until 20th place. You get GameFi right here. You get NFTs in the marketplace. Uh, you get meme tokens that are outperforming NFTs right now. Don't kid yourself about these things. There are numbers and there are things that you can look at that are going to tell you how well or how poorly things are doing. Metaverse right now is down to 20th place. Yield farming is pretty low. So what to do with the information? Well, it looks like the biggest place for improvement, and this, by the way, if you look here, in the seven-day window, the Binance Smart Chain is down almost 70% in pricing on all of its ecosystem. Uh, this is just the same as Avalanche over here, which is down 72% on all of its ecosystem. But guess what? We have confidence in each one of these and we see them continue to perform to an enormous level. And uh, you can see almost 200 billion in uh, market capitalization on each one of these. And uh, we didn't know where Avalanche came from. AVAX was just not a thing not too long ago. It was one of those pie-in-the-sky wishes that everybody else had. And guess what? Now here we are. So uh, let's look at these and let's understand that this is where things are happening right now. Um, the Polygon ecosystem, and we look here by 24-hour volume. If we start to move this... Smart contract platforms is where the money. So blockchain is where you put your money today. Binance ecosystem, uh, that's where you put your money today. The Polygon ecosystem, that's where you put your money today. Avalanche, that's where you put your money today. These are the volumes. Uh, and it doesn't get all the way down here to number 20 again before you come up with the metaverse. So um, I think that today, if you're putting your money anywhere then your best bet is going to be looking at just holding it in Ethereum, holding it in Solana, holding it in Cardano. I'm just kidding. I didn't say that. Uh, don't hold it in Cardano. Cardano hasn't done anything in forever. Uh, Polygon, Avalanche, uh, put it into places where it's actually performing and progressing. In the last 24 hours, your big up right here is the XDAI ecosystems, uh, which includes here Uniswap, Chainlink, Solana ecosystem is doing pretty well today. Avalanche is always doing pretty good. So that's where your money should go. It certainly should not go right now into those metaverse tokens because it's not performing. And until meta slash Facebook does something, you're going to see some struggling. It's not just going to pop off because the interest and the sentiment have started to decline. All right, guys, I don't want to get off on a rant here, but uh, this is the time of year where things start to tread water and you don't see a whole lot of lift. Yesterday, the Fed gave a statement that put a nice lift on the cryptocurrency market, brought it up by about $100 billion. You may see another uh, lift today. You might even see, because it's a Thursday, you might even see a big lift in the meme coin market uh, based on uh, the market capitalization. And based on how the market is running right now, don't expect that to happen because 
Uh, meme coins are probably the ones that are taking it the hardest right now, um, other than the Heco Chain ecosystem. So everything else seems to be moving pretty well to the upside or at least breaking even and getting things back to uh, a semblance of normal. But remember, the market cap on CoinGecko is only $2.38 <coughs> trillion. We need about 2.5, 2.6 to really start to see the buzz happening again before we start to see Bitcoin make the big moves, before we start to see Ethereum make the giant moves that we know is coming. We just haven't seen it yet. So those times are coming. Uh, matter of fact, since we started this, the market is up another $11 billion. Bitcoin is testing 49 right now, and Ethereum is testing 4,100. So uh, there's movement that's happening. It's starting uh, to, to boil. If we have a nice day today, then this could end up with a nice meme coin moment tonight. And it maybe, just maybe, that'll settle into the metaverse in very short order. Uh, Axie Infinity... Just had a nice bounce. Sandbox is still just treading water. Uh, Decentraland still just kind of treading water. Um, engine, same thing. Like they're they're not making a whole lot of movement. So uh, the time's coming. It's just not there yet. Uh, meme coins uh, might be popping off soon. Uh, Metaverse is still struggling. So we'll see what we'll see. Uh, this is not financial advice, but I was always right. I'm for the good life. Good life. Be shy.